Hello everyone, it's me Serge. This is my Xbox Elite Series 2 controller. And now you would see the footage how my dream controller usually look like. This is my fourth Elite Series 2 controller in less than three years. Why? Because all previous were broken. And you want to twist, this one is also broken. So guys, welcome to Salt Channel and today I will tell you top 5 things you would need to know considering buying one of these controllers. Let me tell you some good things first. I really like how comfortable this controller is. The shape is basically the same as a normal Xbox controller, but it has very cool rubbery style finish that's never slicky, never dirty and generally very comfortable. Also, the mappable pedals are perfectly in my hands, so I can show you that my fingers perfectly on four of them, and I never experienced any problems with people talking about that they are uncomfortable. Mappable pedals are the second thing I love the most about the controller, because they provide me with plenty of freedom. Really, I do not use the pads almost never, because when I need to kill in some FPS game, I use the pedals. I also use pedals in Forza a lot, because I use them as a gearbox shifter. It's very convenient, very comfortable, you just go up gear on the right pedal and down gear on the left pedal. As this controller is manufactured by Microsoft, setting everything up is very easy. You just go to accessories menu, click few buttons and voila, you are ready to go. You would also have three profiles for different games that's very convenient. Now, let's talk about the feature I like the most. It's changing of tension on the thumbsticks. Really, this is why I bought the controller. Cause I could go play some arcade games with lightweight sticks that are very comfortable, you could play all day. In 10 seconds, you can change the tension to heavy ones. And when you are on it, you could go play any racing game have 10 times more control under your handling and this would make your experience of playing racing games on a controller much more pleasurable because if you go with normal Xbox controller they just do not have this ability to change tension and you could not get to this heavy mode. I almost don't use mouse click triggers but they are definitely worth mentioning. If you play any shooter games they would be great. They would not make you a pro player, but the thing is, you would start shooting faster. And this might help a lot if you are a new player even. You could play much better from the beginning. Now, let's talk about the sad part of the video. The manufacturing quality. My first controller died because of faulty B button. The second controller, as well as the fourth one, have faulty bumpers and LB and RB are just not working well. Then my third controller, at one day I just woke up, go to play some games and I had a stick drift. This is very annoying actually, cause you pay so much money for the controller and they are dying very fast. I never have experienced problems with my Xbox, I never had problems with normal controllers. I really hate that this controller does not last long, so for me, average duration I play with one controller is around 6 months, and this is not really cool. Subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if you have any issue with your Xbox Elite controller, or maybe you're looking to buy one. The conclusion of this video is pretty easy. I really love the controller and I think you would also love it before you would have an issue. So. I would suggest you to go and buy a new controller, don't search for a used one, get as long as possible the extended warranty, and you would be covered.